Okay, the only thing you can't get is this corner, but but that that camera over there, I'll get this corner. Yeah. Okay, go ahead, introduce your mic. We're live, so go ahead. Okay, welcome to Red Deer versus Calgary F Fire. <laughs> I'll move over this way a little bit. We're not at our normal location. You may have noticed the ice surface is a bit smaller. We're in the Norma Bush Rake, so smaller ice today for the kids. And there's not a lot of fan room either. Wow, the fans are packed in there. That's what's like. Okay, that's, that's what's going to go well that you're talking about. This is the selection over here for this. Okay, I think the warm-up has already happened, so we're getting ready to start. We're going to have the national anthem. All right, folks, we got the uh, Junior Inferno Girls Hockey Calgary joining us today as well. So, big cheering fan for the uh, Calgary Fire taking on the Red Deer Chiefs. Here at Norma Bush Arena in Calgary, Alberta. All right, Jeff, welcome to the broadcast today, folks, here again at uh, Norma Bush Arena, just in uh, beside Father David Bar Arena, where the Red Deer Chiefs are taking on the home Calgary Fire Midget AAA. Okay, the girls are getting ready to drop the puck. Fire won the face off over the MNF. She just dumps it in. But Megan Yakachuk has got control of the puck behind the net. She tries to get it to the point. Kept in again by the fire. Emily Straw now in pursuit. She's looking for someone open. She's trapped on the boards. Sarah Geyser tried to help her out. Oh, that's kept in by Megan Yakachuk. And Red Deer breaks out, approaching their blue line, and they just dump it in. Oh, Sophie. Oh, that was ugly. Boy, it was a weird goal, man. Uh, it's an unfortunate start for the Calgary Fire. A bit of a weak shot in goes against her right pad and just trickles into the back corner. 
Yeah. You know, Sophie liked that one back, Jeff. Oh, God, yeah. She did, it just got caught in her feet, and she knocked her right into the net. Kids, eh? Bad time to come to the game. Yeah. Well, tough goal for the fire. Right? See if they can bounce back after this. Brought in by Megan Yakachuk. Back to the point. Peyton Evans plays it deep. Oh. Haley Tiala took the shot from the point. Just wide of the net. Back to the Calgary point again. That was Bolger dumping That's it in Bulger. from the right side. Yeah, Sorry, yeah. yep. That's <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard to see the numbers from back here. Yeah, we're in a bad That's angle here, yeah. And Sophie plays puck around behind the net. The Red Deer in to play it deep. Bolger not able to get it there first, but Evans puts it around the board out to the point. Eventually getting out is Megan Yakachuk. She's in the neutral zone, uh, taking up ice now. It's number 16, that's Julia McEwen. Loses it there, and the Red Deer catches. Calgary fires on a change. Shot, nice shot on net. The butterfly save there by Lejeunesse. She goes cross ice from Shaw. Up ice, hits it over number 17, Dylan Nori. Nori streaks in, gains the center, and I'm looking to pass that in. Well, Lauren Yonkers got beat at the blue line. She's recovered. Back, Red Deer approaches. Played in deep. Oh, and a hard shot from the Red Deer point. Sophie handled that, no problem, no rebound. Well, we got one of the, you probably could hear those little Inferno girls behind us. A great cheering squad here. Brought out by Haston Frass up to uh, Siobhan Sullivan, plays it in the corner. Geyser picks it up. Kept in. Sierra Laplante plays it in deep. Passing fast, he's got a chance at the puck. Plays it to the point. MNF with a hard shot for the point. Oh, the rebound just. Calgary's not able to grab the rebound. Played behind the net. Comes all the way around to MNF. She's bringing it out front. Oh, and Maddie Newen tried for a shot. Couldn't get it through. Oh, and a shot blocked at the point. Played back to Peyton Evans. Up to Sarah Geyser. Oh, no, uh, Maddie Newman. She just brings it over the red line to Emily Straw, who dumps it in. Dylan Norrie on the chase. Red Deer tries to wrap around. It's stopped by Peyton Evans, who just brought it back into the corner. Em oh. Can you hear me, sir? <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 yeah, if I kind of played a fool on you, I turned the volumes up a little bit so you can hear it better. Well, the fire taking a face off just outside the fire zone. Jeff doing an awesome play-by-play -play job. Go for it, Jeff. Back over to Bulger. Red Deer is trying to get it out of their zone. Up to the point, bounces over. Sarah Geyser's got it in the neutral zone. She's lost it to one of the Red Deer players. Dale Norrie came to help out. And that's up to uh, Peyton Evans. Up to, and back to Bulger. Just over the blue line. And Red Deer brings it back in onside. For a quick shot on net. Sophie plays that. We still got water behind the net but in our end. Yeah, it's taking a while for that water to, to firm up. Right here trying to take advantage of that. Keeping the fire on their heels in front of their net. That's, uh, that's Geyser trying to pinch the puck on the boards. Eventually gets it to the blue line, but not out as Raider, Raiders holding it in. Wow, Raiders. that was close right to being here. offside. <laughs> <laughs> that's right here's number 17, uh, Adrian Arishko, playing the puck around behind the net. Goes to the opposite side now where Peyton Evans got it. She puts out to the point but can't get it out. It's yep, being held it in. in. Yeah, that's right. Jordan McLaughlin holds that big puck in for the Red Deer. That's number 17 again. That's Arden Harishko. Puts the puck in front. Good move by uh, Lajeunesse to kick over. 
and kicking it over. She knocks the net off the moorings, but it's right away back on the moorings, so I'm not quite sure what she was doing there. She tried for a quick wraparound, but Sophie got her leg over quick. Great job. And as you can see, we've got the uh, Calgary Fire Inferno, Junior Inferno on TV right now, trying to show everybody that they're, they're here supporting their fire. Face off to the right of Lajeunesse, Jeff. Yakashuk is taking it. She's taking it against number eight, which is uh, Kelly Cock for Red Deer. Oh, here we have uh, Tia, Tia Workman, number 20 for, uh, for the fire, has been called up today to play defense. Puck being held deep in the Red Deer zone. It looks like it's uh, kind of hard for us to see the numbers from down here, folks. We set up, just so you know, we're, we're typically in the Father David Bar Arena. And today, due to the uh, U-Sport playoffs, uh, we got bumped out of the ice time and moved over to Father David to um, uh, Norma Bush is the name of the arena. Yeah. So we got Julia McEwen, Megan Yakachuk, and Grace Crooks on the line together. They've switched the lines around together. And it's been dumped in deep. Oh, Red Deer's going to try and catch Calgary on a change, but Tia Workman plays it up. No problem. Julia McEwen across the blue line to, I don't know who that is. Red Deer's doing a great job. As a, when Calgary dumps that puck deep, expecting to be able to make the change. They immediately keep one player high and just fire that puck up to try and force the change to be more rapid. That was number 19, MNF. The oh, defenseman trying to clear the puck out. Puck went up into the bench area, though. So yeah. that'll force a face off the neutral zone, oh, Jeff. What? I saw a penalty call. Someone's getting a slashing. Red Deer. Two minutes for slashing. I didn't catch the number. Great job by Megan, uh, or MNF, bringing that puck out over the blue line. A lot of speed. And I think somebody must have chopped her. Calgary wins a face off. See if we can get a shot away over to Sierra Plant. Back to Neff with a one-timer. Oh, whoa. Shot in close. They didn't know oh, where the puck was, but it was a scramble up front. Shot in close. They're celebrating, thinking they got it in, but that's Emily Straw, not quite able to connect. As now it goes back to Sierra Plant at the point. She goes opposite side to Neff. Neff puts it in on the slot. Loses it, though, as Red Deer's number two, it looks like. Aaron Chambers coming up ice. Buck goes round up to the point to your daughter. That's McEwen there. Puts it back to Neff, who keeps the speed, goes into the zone. Allowing McEwen to make a change. She goes in front, shot in oh. close into the bread bin. Great move. And shot. Red Deer not super happy about her being there, but it was a great charge there, Jeff. Nice little move and a, a little shot there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jeff, in quotes, is being really kind to me because my, uh, my old man syndrome is kicking in. It's actually Mike, folks, Mike McEwen. <laughs> I'll That's pony okay. after that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> got my old man medicine going today again. I deserve that, uh, Stuart. <laughs> I got here late. <laughs> I didn't even know we'd be setting up today. That's why I came so late. So. That's Sarah Geyser. Play the back of her defense. Megan Bolger plays it in. Oh, they got another chance. Cargers had a couple of real close chances in, but they can't seem to put it past the goalie. We got a camera call. I'm just going to chase the kid. Let's see if it's okay. Okay. Calgary still pressure with that uh, 47 seconds left in their power play. Oh, a loose puck again. See if they can get a chance. Oh, Red Deer intercepts and clears the puck. We have 39 seconds left. Sophie's out. Plays it for Megan Bolger. Bolger up to Evans. Evans is going to carry it in. It's a little help, but oh, we have another penalty to, to Red Deer. Tripping. Great job by Peyton Evans to carry that puck in. I'd like to see her carry that puck more. She's a great stick handler and got a lot of speed. You need someone to get a good zone entry on these power plays. Well, let's see what Calgary can do. They got 20 seconds with uh, five on three. See if they can get a shot away. Comes around to the far point. Not stopped by Neff over to Plant. Looking for someone open. Oh, Nori couldn't handle the pass. They got five seconds left. Back to the point. 
Back to Nori. Nori just shoveled it at the net. And the goalie easily played that into a goal. Uh, second penalty was sort of tripping. Awesome. So it's good you Oh yeah, we got Mr. Mike too. here. Yeah. No, no, we're not announcing at the arena, but we should let you let folks at home oh, know yes. that was a uh, yeah. a two minute penalty for against the uh, Red Deer Raiders or sorry, Red Deer Chiefs. Yeah, I didn't tripping again. Ooh, I didn't catch the oh, numbers. Wow, that was that some was... acrobatics on behalf of the yeah. goaltender there. Hey, she turns around and catches it from above her. Yeah, it looked like it may have been just going over the net, but it, she grabbed it with a quick round there. And as you can see in the background, a minute 33 left in that penalty to Red Deer. It's Calgary trying to capitalize on the power play to try and bring themselves back even. Yeah, if you got here late, there was a, there was a goal scored by Red Deer, a uh, dump in. Bounced off the boards, and uh, I don't know if it was the water or what, but Sophie kind of had a hard time. It was in her feet, and she accidentally kicked it in her own net. Crazy goal. Do we know which team this is, this Inferno team or that's <laughs> yelling behind us? It's the uh, Junior Inferno. The, the G GHC Calgary Junior Inferno. Are they, they look like maybe Adam or maybe, we will find out. We'll maybe find even Novice. Yeah. Next break, yeah, that's a yeah. good point. No shortage of lung power. Back to the point, <laughs> M&F again, over to Sierra Plant. She gives a bit of McKinley Nelson's in the spot. Oh, shot on net. Left pad save from the goaltender for oh, Red Deer. Missed pass and the Red Deer's able to clear it. Sophie's back behind her net to play that puck. Got Neff's coming up from behind her net. She goes right side to Nelson. Nelson's got Sierra Plant left side. Did she kind of runs into her her forward. That's uh, McEwen. What is going on? I didn't see. There's another penalty to Red Deer. That, wow, I missed that one. So I two, did too, actually. Two men short again. Sierra. Oops, sorry, folks. We'll put you back on the camera. That's down ice. To McKinley Nelson, who... In trying to adjust this uh, new ice surface, we just placed cameras. Yeah, the, the great shot could. for the a point. shot in the point. Stay by the right again, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's nice. Play play. Nope. Nope. Well, sure. <laughs> You're on. You're on. <laughs> we're two timing really well. So yeah, that's okay. Where yeah. you pick up, I'll pick up after you. Puck down to him behind the Red Deer zone. Back to the point. Goes to Yonker. Yonker at the point looking for someone to get it to. She gets it deeper and tries to go across ice in front. Sorry, folks. I can't quite make the number out there. That's Tia Workman. We'll have to find out who number 20 is today. Obviously, we have an affiliate today as well. Yeah, she's Tia Workman, number 20. Lajeunesse stops the puck behind the net. As the Yonker's back to get it. She's being watched by Red Deer's number three. That's uh, Jolie Nafsiger. Puck goes to Geyser. She can't quite control it, but now you got Noonan's coming up ice. And it just goes across the blue line, just out of the step, though. Offside on the fire, brings the puck back in neutral zone with 10-10 remaining in the first period. 29 seconds now and a 5-on-4 penalty against the Red Deer Chiefs. Yeah, tough break for the fire. They had some good chances. Uh, the goalie made some good saves. The rebounds were there, but they just couldn't capitalize. Okay, we've got 30 seconds left to try and make something happen with the advantage. Red Deer's got the puck coming over the line, though. Shot in close. A knuckleball went off the stick of the defender, Bolger. Nice job by La Jeunesse, though, to keep track on it. Now we go to number 12. That's Matt Yakachuk coming in in the slot. Tries to shoot through oh. traffic. Can't quite get in there. Get the right side as bodies fly. Wow, another great chance. Dylan Nori out to the point. She gets it over to Bolger. Bolger goes back to Nori. Nori puts it back to the point where that looks like number 9, Peyton Evans. Red Deer intercepts is the centering pass, though, and they've got number 15 high. That's uh, Haley Hoopcamp. Comes in deep. She's going one-on-one -on -one in the corner against Bolger. Bolger gets knocked down, and Hoopcamp comes up with it. Up to the point, but not able to contain it was Kelly Cock as it goes back in, in the uh, zone there. All right, Chiefs dump it in. That's uh, left flat now getting some speed. Tries to split the uh, forward four check between 16 and 18. That was uh, Batrud and Botel. Puck deep in the Red Deer zone now as the Red Deer's Kylie Hansel tries to play it back up the board. Stopped there by the Calgary Fires, number six. That's uh, Kylie Hassenfratz. What do you think, Mike? 
There's a lot of cheering going on back here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if they can last three periods. <laughs> Great support from these junior yeah. junior inferno. They're, they're really energetic about it. Let's see if they can keep the fires uh, efforts up. That's number nine for Red Deer taking a shot on net. Julie Wagner played to the corner by Lajeunesse. Neff's back there to play it. She was chased by Wagner again. MNF puts it up, gets it over to number 14, Skyler. Sorry, Siobhan Sullivan. In deep now. That's uh, Heidi Kelly Hassan for us on the forecheck. Red Deer trying to come out of their zone. Sends the, uh, the uh, head ref oh. for a bit of a tumble, Mike. Yeah, she did a good fall. She, she caught herself well. She's got a big smile, though, so she's not feeling too badly. Shot in close. Up to the side, big split save as uh, Lajeunesse gets back to the post. Yonker rubs into the boards and gives uh, number 19, oh, Robin nice Grant, pass. a bit of a hello. Shot in close. That's a... Uh, McKinley Nelson getting a nice breakaway there, Mike. Yeah, that she had a great pass up to her. Oh, oh. do we have a head contact? It's going to be a head contact penalty. You're exactly right. Uh, this time it looks like it's oh. going against the fire. McKinley Nelson. 7.44 remaining in the first period, and Red Deer will take their first penalty. Calgary's power play, yeah. I should say. Yeah, first power play for Red Deer. I did not see what she had. It definitely was head contact. The ref signaled her head. Must have been some pushing in the corner, maybe. Yeah, she had a great chance uh, all alone on the goalie. But goalie played her well. She stepped out to the right side, but the goalie just went right with her. Lost that camera again. Which one? Oh, she's moving to the field right now. Looks like we lost one of our cameras. Stewart's gone to have a look at it. So, Red Deer. Looking pretty good on their power play, but uh, Calgary's managed to clear it. We've got Siobhan Sullivan putting some pressure on the defense. Kylie Hassan for us as well as with her. Megan Bolger and Peyton Evans on defense. Calgary, uh, Red Deer enters his own, and they're trying to set up. Back to the point. Oh. Oh, Calgary gets a break and uh, miss pass. Bailey Fiala's chasing. Whoa, had a little body contact, but she kept the puck deep into the Red Deer zone. <laughs> Looks like they may have moved Bailey Fiala up onto forward for this game. She's, she's done that a few times. She does a great job. m &F, great job breaking up the entry and got back over the blue line. Red Deer trying again. They've got 46 seconds left in their power play. And I believe they've gone offside. It's or maybe, an icing call. Maybe that even time. icing. That's even better. Yeah. <laughs> if fire, you're a Calgary fan, that is. The fire will bring the puck back down in the Red Deer zone. It's 44 seconds left in that penalty to, uh, the, red, to the Red Guys. Calgary's, which is Calgary. Calgary's <laughs> um, um, number 11. Well, Sarah Geiser is doing a good job keeping them deep in their zone. They try for the long pass, and Sierra intercepts. We might have another icing. No. It's a foot race. Neff got there first. Oh, off, off the face, face out. Oh, it didn't <laughs> quite get out, though. It's, uh, oh. quite, quite the, uh, the putting your whole body into it is uh, Red Deer's number 19, I believe yes. that was, Robin Grant. Thank God for the face masks. They had 11 seconds left, and Calgary sent it deep into Red Deer's zone. This might do it. Yes, uh, Megan Yakinchak putting on some pressure. That should do it for the penalty. McKinley's out, and Bailey Fiala has stepped on the ice in her place. Oh, tried for a clearing shot across the net. Couldn't get her stick on it. Battle for the puck in front of the Calgary Fire, but the Red Deer Chiefs bench. Getting back in deep was number seven. That's uh, Grace Crooks. Right here comes up with it, though. Dumps it down ice intended to, to get to number four. That's uh, number four, Kylie Perry, but that'll be icing call against the Red Deer Chiefs. Taking it back into the, fi the Red Deer zone. 5.16 left in the period there, Mike. We don't we don't have a shot clock up there. Or they are not keeping the tracks, but I have to say that Calgary's outshot them so far. I mean, the, the two two men advantages definitely helps, but they're, they're definitely out shooting Red Deer. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'm not going to give you a number, that's for sure. <laughs> 
That's uh, Red Deer's number 14, oh. Katie oh, Charco, got a body check the coming fire. on fire. And it's going to be against Red, Red Deer. the Red Deer, yeah. So I'm going to say number 12, it looks like. Oh, no, number, number 20. 20. Red Deer's number 20, again, a number we don't have a name for, so uh, we'll have to get that listed up. So maybe that's an affiliate. Well, she's putting herself in the record books as an affiliate now, so... <laughs> They've fired in, this, in the Red Deer zone. Two minutes now, a penalty with the last five minutes of the first period. Red Deer leading, one nothing. Battle for it in the corner. Battling in there is uh, that's, uh, Sarah Geyser. we got support there from Noonan, and that's Jennifer Shaw in the corner. Possession battle in the corner. Whoa. Goes out front. That chance in close. Can't quite get on it. Goes to the point. Shot goes into some body traffic as the shot came from, uh, that was number nine, Peyton Evans. Yeah, she tried to put it. There. She, you could definitely see some net there, but uh, one of the Red Deer defensemen did a great job blocking that shot because that was going in. McKenna Bulger taking her time to set up in the fire zone. Puts it forward to Geyser looking to split the, the Red Deer effort. Stepping into it, though, is number four, Kylie Perry. She comes in for a shot. Oh, that's number two. Sorry, the captain for Red Deer, Aaron Chambers. Lajeunesse gloves that one, holds onto it for a whistle with a minute six left to go on the penalty. 4.05 left to go in the period. I just want to apologize. I think I was calling uh, McKenna Megan Bulger. Easy mistake, I guess. <laughs> it is. That's, uh, that's McKinley Nelson. She's got an F on the right, puts it up to number 15, Emily Straw. She gets across the blue, steps across the slot, shot on the net, goes to the left pad, played into the corner by the Red Deer goaltender. Back behind the net is the captain, Aaron Chambers. She, she looks for an egress, puts it up to the point, but not out. It's Sierra LaPlante there to hold it in for the fire. Goes cross ice, looking for a chance to go off ice again. Not quite able to capitalize that on front. I can't quite see the number who that was. It's number 16, your 16, daughter. Yeah, 16, yeah. 16 or Julie 15. McEwen had a yeah. chance there. She puck came through a little bit too, of a, too much of a whistler to contain, I think. Puck in front again. It's ready to this time. Gets a hold of it. Plays it to the blue line. Once again, not out is uh, Sierra Plant able to hold it in. Red Deer now dumping it in as their penalty killers go for a change. Ten seconds left to go on the penalty at 3-10 in the first period. Up by Semenev looks to Jakicek. Jakicek's looking cross ice. She gets it over to LaPlante. LaPlante gains the blue. She centers it in the slot, but Red Deer's defenders are the only ones there as they dump it down ice. And this is going to be icing against them. It's Red Deer, 255 left in the first. I was just thinking about that first goal, uh, Stuart, and I'm looking at the rink. There's not nearly as much distance between the boards and the goal line. So when that puck came off the back boards, I'm, I'm sure Sophie was not expecting it to be right up in her feet right away. Probably it's not. A tough break. <laughs> It's a much smaller rink than the Father Dave Bar rink, that's for sure. Olympic ice is not what we play on normally. Yeah. But we, the Red Deer, I mean the Fire do now, but uh, that's not what every team plays on normally. Yeah. Jennifer Shaw gets up across the center line, goes across the blue, being chased there by the Red Deer defender. Does a great job of haranguing her. That was Jordan McLaughlin make, forcing the Fire to take a step offside. The face-off now will be in the neutral zone in front of the Red Deer bench. All right, we got Siobhan Sullivan with uh, Maddie Noonan and Hassan Frass in the forwards with our affiliate Tia Workman and Lauren Yonker on defense. Red right Deer dumps the puck in behind the fire net. Back to get it is the affiliate uh, Tia Workman. <laughs> I gotta write that name down. <laughs> it's okay, I'll Tia remember Work it for you. <laughs> there you go. Tia, Tia Workman puts it puck back behind the net. She managed to work her way deep into Red Deer's zone. Near side going there to help her out is, uh, can't quite see the number who that was. Yonkers uh, got it at the point, though. The chip past her goes back to Workman. Workman puts it up to the front of the bench again as uh, Noonan has it. Looking to get some open time as she gets it over to Workman. Workman dumps, gains the center ice. Smart play there. Just steps on center and dumps it in and goes for a change. In deep to play it now is number 14, Siobhan Sullivan. Oh, and Red Deer once icing. again dumps it in. This is going to be icing against Red Deer again, Mike. 1.43 of the first period. Yeah, my daughter had uh, played with Tia Workman last year on her team. Tia's a wonderful hockey player. Great great skater, great with the puck. She, she'll bring it up end to end. Any 
Scores a lot of goals. I think she's third in scoring in her league right now and number one on her team. Well, this is Red Deer's number 20, the unknown player. We'll find out who she is, and she's in behind the fire net now, taking on Peyton Evans. As Red Deer's 14 gets it out front, gets a shot from a bad angle. That's Katie Charco. As now Dylan Norrie's got it up, and she's got Emily Straw in the center. Gets around the back as the Red Deer's captain, Aaron Chambers, plays the puck into the corner. And here comes number three, Jolie Nafziger, comes in across the blue, gets it over to number 14, Katie Charco. Shot from a side weak angle, goes around behind the net. As the Red Deer's number six now, Kyla Hansel, plays it around behind the net. Peyton Evans plays the puck up ice. Emily Straw getting a rough ride from number five, Jordan McLaughlin. She got a bit of a free one as the referee was looking up ice on that one. But certainly the, the shots are coming. 47 seconds left to go as a fire game possession in the neutral zone. Lost it to the Red Deer. Bit of a uh, ping pong possession going on here. Sierra Plant gets it over up to Je Emma Jennifer Shaw. Red Deer's got it again. Coming across the blue with 35 to go. Lajeunesse has it. She's left it there for Emma Neff. Applied with Perry on her way back to the front of the net, though, as MNF is battling for it in the corner. Lajeunet, sorry, Sierra LaPlante pinches her against the boards to take the puck away. The puck now goes to McKinley Nelson. She goes out the right side, centers at the far side, intended for Jennifer Shaw. Able to get it first, though, is Julie Wagner for Red Deer. 12 seconds left to go as Red Deer deep in the fire zone again. Lajeunet plays the puck around the net backwards. As in number 15, Hoogcamp. Haley Hoogcamp gets the puck first as uh, LaPlante... Calgary desperately trying to get out of the zone. And that will do it for the first period. Yeah. <laughs> so we got the little Inferno girls are carefully stepping over all our equipment. Yeah. <laughs> so that'll do it for the yeah. first period. Calgary trailing 1 0 to the Red Deer Chiefs. And uh, the Red Deer putting on. A bit of a show for them. I mean, like you said, Calgary had a lot of a lot of shots, but Red Deer, I think the possession time would be pretty equal. Yeah, towards this, the end of the second uh, first period, the uh, Red Deer really started to come on. I, I, it's, it's pretty tough when you take two uh, or four penalties like that early in the period. Calgary really took it to them, and then but after the penalties, it's like the Red Deer got a new got some new wind and just really came at them. Exactly right. So we're going to take a break here now while the uh, ice re gets resurfaced. And we'll be back here in 15 minutes. Stay tuned for us, folks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back here in 15.
far away from me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. And then there's one time I was looking at it going, I can't see the number. It's like you're in my head, you zoom in right away. Oh, perfect. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go step outside and get a little
Oh, there's the Inferno girls getting ready for the second period. And we're just about to get a puck drop. Oh, something's happening. The ref's having a chat. Here we go. The Red Deer gets the face off. They play it in. Peyton Evans has got it. She looks for somebody up the middle, but it's intercepted by Red Deer. And they enter the zone. Peyton Evans gets it again. Quick pass out up to the middle. Megan Yakutruck trying to get it, but she's beat by uh, Red Deer's captain, number two. Yeah, that was Erin Chambers who picked the buck away from her. Yep. Yeah. Great skater. Well, the Inferno have kicked in, the junior Inferno girls. <laughs> Yeah, right here is Jordan McLaughlin and Kyla Hansel. We're playing tic-tac-toe at the, in the uh, D to D. And Bailey, Bailey Fiala, I'm not quite able to grab that puck and capitalize in the neutral zone, but they get it, uh, so right here gets it back in the deep in the Calgary zone. Shot off the foot of the Calgary defender, number two, Jennifer Shaw. She's, sorry, that's oh, Megan Yakachuk. Yeah, well, she felt that one. She's going to the bench in the, quite a bit of pain, it looked like. Big thank you to our parent volunteers, yourself included, Mike, who's just uh, coming around the cameras for us today and, and help us all set up and grace us with some uh, additional equipment to make our lives that much easier. Well, we might get a chance here. Kinley Nelson with a hard oh. shot. Oh, the shot on the glove. It's still loose. Uh, there you go. Nelson that's jamming away at it. It's, we can see it from our perspective, but uh, the rule of thumb is that the referee cannot see it after typically about a second count, they blow it down. Yeah. Well, I was just watching Perry give uh, one of the Calgary girls a little shot. I didn't know if it was a friendly push or what. <laughs> just come out of nowhere. You'd be amazed at what the definition of friendly is. It, it, my, my daughter is, uh, yeah. like I say, they end up... Uh, one good thing I like about our situation here, Stuart, is we're a lot closer to the ice surface. We might be able to read some lips here today if we have a scuffle around the net. <laughs> uh, from what my daughter tells me at U-Sport, you do not want to read those lips. <laughs> <laughs> I probably don't know any of those swears. They, they have a whole different vocabulary than we did. But sure. <laughs> it is an entirely different vocabulary. It's, sometimes you don't want it decoded. So Kari behind the Red Deer net now in the corner. Red Deer comes up with it. They clear it out to the point. Out to, that's number 14 now. Katie Charco plays a buck across the blue line. She takes it deep in the Calgary zone. She's being chased there now by Yonker. Lauren Yonker is assisted. By that was number 22, Madeline Noonan. Red Deer still has it. Shot on net. Played to the corner by uh, Lajeunesse. She knocked her net off, but uh, ended up putting it back herself. But no call there. As uh, that's number 22 again, Madeline Noonan played across to uh, number 14, Javon Sullivan. They weren't able to get it close. I keep going back to the 2018 uh, roster and wanted to call her Skylar Wiltsey, but that's now uh, Javon Sullivan, number 14.
Calgary forward. Play it back in behind her net as she saw basically a, a glut of players at the Red Deer bench just waiting to take advantage of the puck coming their way. Puck goes in front, a bit of an awkward one as uh, Sophie having to go left to right. Here he goes, Dylan Nori now. She's got Emily Straw pulled off the puck. No oh. call there. As she's uh, basically uh, hooked from behind and lifted off her feet. Yeah. Dylan Nori there to help her out. Uh, has a bit of a big smile on her face, a bit of a laugh. As uh, This is uh, Campbell, the yeah. goaltender for Red Deer. Elizabeth Campbell comes yeah. back and looks at us on the bench and have a bit of a grin. Yeah, she had a nice smile for the, for the camera. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think Emily was definitely hoping for a penalty there. Yeah. Pass okay. was crossed to her, and she, her stick was listed, lifted a little bit aggressively, and she went down, but the ref wasn't buying it. Red Deer wins that face-off. Jordan Watkins plays puck around behind the net, but her partner, number six, Kyla Hansel, puts it up in neutral zone. They eventually play it in behind the fire net. Back there to get it, Sierra LaPlante. LaPlante's looking for an egress, gets it up, intended for Madeline Noonan. Can't quite contain it as Red Deer's number 15, looks like. Let's say Haley Hoodcamp has it again going deep. Well, I think that's Sarah Geyser in the middle. Her oh, and Maddie are, get confused because Maddie's 22 and Sarah's 29, and they're about the same size. <laughs> And they both skate kind of similar. Nice backhand. Nice play there. There's a pass off looking for open ice. Here to plant has it shot on net. Oh, Comes loose. Yeah, there it is. They find it. And they put it home. That was Sarah Geyser with the full effort going to the net there, Mike. See, the shot on net by Sierra to plant was uh, left in the five hole. Geyser seeing that. Hit it one shot on it, which spit it, spit it loose. And then she ended up putting it home. And if I'd been thinking about that more than talking, I would have put a replay up there. But uh. <laughs> it's, the old, it's the old coach's mentor. Put the pucks to the net and go after them. Yeah. Well, we got some singing behind us here. We got yeah, a little. The, the coach is trying to lead Stomp a chorus. Stomp Tom Con Connors there. <laughs> I'm not sure if the kids know that song. <laughs> they might be reaching back before yeah. they were born. I think. Yep. <laughs> a good old hockey game. That's uh, Red Deer. They don't win that one this time. As uh, the fire. Get the puck in the neutral zone. Bit of a battle for it on the Red Deer Blue. Is back to get it now. That looks. Can you see a number there, Mike? I can't yeah, see who that was. Yeah, uh, Peyton Evans played it up. Well, we got some screaming now, too. It's a whole different way of cheering. Yeah. <laughs> it's the high pitch scream. Yeah, Bailey Fiala chasing in the corner now, taking on the captain, Aaron Chambers, a Red Deer. Shot in oh, front, intended. It goes to number 21, Fiala. But it was in her feet, like you said. She couldn't quite contain it and put it back to where it could do some business with it. Peyton Evans taking on number eight, I believe, of Red Deer. That's Kali Cook, Coke, I should say. Well, that uh, Calgary goal has appeared to have woken them up. They were pretty lax of days ago at the start of the second period, and uh, they've definitely come alive now. Yeah, the puck spits past uh, McEwen and yep. goes to, uh, oh, I didn't write her name down. What's her name again? Uh, T the Tia, Tia Workman. Tia, Tia Workman. Workman. Oh, see, she brought it. Oh. Yeah, Tia did a great job bringing that puck all the way end to end. Somebody stepped offside. I'm not sure. I think it might have been McKinley. Or Jen Shaw. Tia's bringing the puck in now off the face off. Calgary's played it deep. Jen Shaw is on the chase. See if we can keep that in. Yes, Yonker brought, brought it in. Great job there, Jen Lauren, Lauren Yonker. Lauren Yonker get, recognizing the, yeah. the uh, time she had to step in there and get a pinch in and keep that puck in. Great play there, Mike. Well, we got another pass out in front. He's intercepted, but they kept it in. Yeah, that was Workman at the point. Held it in. Again, she did smart play for an affiliate. She stepped in and, uh, again, closed the gap in the ice and uh, got a hold of that puck and dumped it back in for them to keep playing it. Playing on the blue. That's Yonker. And Red Deer's... Can't quite tell the number there. Is that number 15? 20? I think the unknown. We don't know her name. Number 20. Calgary touched it, so it won't be icing. McKinley Kinley Nelson been playing it deep with Siobhan Sullivan in support, and she's also got Julia Evan McEwen there. The three of them pinching the boards there to keep the exit closed. Madeline Noonan coming in with uh, some good speed. Let's start calling her good speed for short. It's uh, Sierra <laughs> Laplante. She. Gets the bounce of puck on the inside. Can't quite handle it. There's an Emma Neff now gets it. And she organizes the egress as the plant goes to the center slot with the Siobhan Sullivan. Goes to the near side. 
That looks like uh, Noonan again, is it? Yep, it's Matty Noonan. Just every player on the ice that starts with a two. I'm just going to start right. calling them yeah. Noonan. What yeah. the heck, eh? So and now Kylie Hassenfratz is with her there. <laughs> yeah, bit of a bump there from behind. There's uh, Hassenfratz. Noonan gets it to the point. LaPlante's got it. Tried to walk across the blue a bit to get some more better visibility. Hassenfratz got it at the corner now. As she's Noonan's pinched off the puck by Red Deer's number 11, Juliana Cap Giacobo. MNF losing her stick in the corner, steps in front of the Red Deer player, number 16, and uh, Hannah Bartrude. No penalty there, as she, that, that, Mike, that, in my books, that was clear interference. Yeah, there's uh, been a, quite a bit of contact uh, in this last 10 minutes of this period. Uh, the ref just seems to want him to just let things go. It's, it's, it's an interesting one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Both teams tied at one. I should just adjust our score as uh, Calgary managing to get evened up early in this second period. Ah, uh, yes, on the screen. I never look at that. <laughs> all our viewers do, Mike. Sooner or later, yes, we they should do. do. Yes, I'm just live. <laughs> <laughs> it's all live for me, Stuart. <laughs> oh, great entry here. There's Sarah Gazer. She's got it. Oh. Drops it there for Emily Straw. Tries to tries to drop a shot again. They go in front. Straw gets a... Uh, I'm not sure if she gets pushed in or if she just falls into the goaltender. Oh. Uh, the goaltender, Elizabeth Campbell, not super happy about that. I believe we're going to have a red deer penalty as well. The, yes, the ref is singling number nine. Gave Emily Straw a couple extra shots in the back. And she dove for that puck. I guess the red deer was unhappy with that extra yeah. gesture. And yeah, so Julia Wagner, number nine for red deer, going for two for cross-checking at 12.39 of the second period. So it's Wagner for cross-checking at 12.39. Now the referee is finding herself in a situation where she needs to explain herself. we got some explaining to do to the Red Deer coach. Yeah, it kind of looked to me like Emily just dove at the puck but ended up hitting the, the goalie, which obviously Red Deer would take exception to. So, But it was pretty innocent. It was just a headbutt in the chest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Face off in the, right in front of broadcast booth. Here is uh, Red Deer gets it out of their zone. No, oh, not quite. Kept in. Good job by Calgary to keep that in. As Megan Yachtar has it now, she puts it back to Kirk. Oh, she faked us. Faked me out. Kirk's has it now. Someone's got to spread out here. Yachtar trips it over to the center. Peyton Evans has it there. Dylan Norrie now back to Evans. Evans looking for cross ice. She'll put it to, uh, to Norrie instead. Kirk's in the corner. Gary Farr setting up with two in the slot. They're trying to play, they're cycling in the corner to go one deep, one right in front of the net, which is Yakachuk. Yakachuk is there at Evans. Shot from the point, great shots into the body of number five, Jordan, Jordan McLaughlin for Red Deer. Yeah, that was the, a great block because that was a good hard shot, Stuart, right on the net. Oh. Right on the numbers, yeah. Yep. McKinley Nelson goes back to her D to get themselves some more time to organize again as uh, that looks like, uh, I can't tell who that was. Julia Mike. McEwen and, Emma, and Emily Straw. Nelson with, to uh, number 20 again. That's yeah, Tia, uh, Workman. Tia Workman and Yonkers on the point. Yeah, McEwen and Nelson moving that puck well on the far side. Goes to Workman. Workman elects to shoot it in for the deflect deflection. Oh, you Couldn't quite connect. That. As McEwen stepped in from the corner to join up with Straw to try and add some more traffic and deflect that. 39 seconds left to go in the penalty. As the fire taking on number four behind their own net. Kylie Perry, the Red, Red Deer player. Oh, she's drawn a penalty as well, she too. She did draw a penalty. Yeah, as, uh, I think that's Dylan Norrie. No, that would be... Lorne Yonker, I think. Lorne Yonker. Maybe for slashing. Got her stick out there. We'll yeah. see what's going... Hooking, maybe, or slashing. I'm not sure. We're about to see. Let's uh, yes. watch the watch the. Uh, it's going to oh, be a slash. It is the slash, yeah, yeah. and it's Yonker. So Lauren Yonker, Calgary's number three, going for slashing at 11:04. So that means for a minute 35 seconds, there'll be four on four, and then the final 25 will be Red Deer on the power play. Great job by number four. Really strong in the puck for Red Deer. It was because of that. It yep. Basically, did. Calgary didn't uh, keep their feet moving, really forced them to be a bit of a lazy penalty. Yep. So Calgary dumps it deep, and Red Deer's number six, Kyla Hansel, plays the puck around the board, and it ends up going all the way down the ice. Uh, ruled no icing as the plant's back to play it. She's been watching the forecheck by Red Deer. Center ice collision by uh, Geyser and Red Deer's number five, McLaughlin. 
This is Red Deer's Kyla Hanslow behind her own net. Again, trying to set up the egress for Red Deer. They go up near, near side again where McLaughlin's being chased by Geyser. McLaughlin, nice play for her to get up the center ice. She gets it over to Katie Charco. Charco dumps it in with uh, Sierra LaPlante playing it, and she gets her stick on it. A minute and seven seconds left now with actually a minute and seven of the power play for the Red Deer now. My calculation was all wrong. <laughs> There's a minute 35 power play for them, not uh, not the other way around. Is there 25 seconds left in the Calgary penalty? Or sorry, the Red Deer penalty. Red Deer now behind the Calgary fire net, and uh, oh, Sierra Leplant's going to be taking. Penalty. MNF is actually going to be going for two for holding. At 46 seconds left in the first power penalty, so Red Deer will find themselves on a five-on-three for 46 seconds. With uh, uh, looks like yeah, MNF heads to yeah, the box. MNF for holding at 9.49 of the second. I guess the ref noticed that the game was getting a little bit out of control, maybe a little bit too much contact, and she's uh, reining it in. This could be tough for uh, Calgary now. They're two men short for 44 seconds now. Red here now moving the puck around in the Calgary zone. Nice shot from the point intended to deflection by Kelly Koch. Back to Chambers now. Chambers puts it in deep in the corner. Puck comes back, expected to get to Kyla Hansel. Good hustle to hold it in the zone, though. As now Chambers goes to, to Hansel again. Back to Chambers. Chambers shot from the point, looking for traffic. Wasn't able to get any, though. As once again, Kyla Hansel shot from the point through traffic on her side. Calgary unable to get it out, though. As the defenseman finally gets it, plays it around the boards, but not out. Chambers at the point holds it in again. That's Hansel. Another great Ste save by Sophie. McKenna's got a chance to clear this. Oh, but she didn't get it out. Oh, the first penalty's over to the fire, so they're just five on four now. Yep, next minute and seven seconds, 8.54 left in the period as the Red Deer's still on a power play. Chambers, shot from the point, goes through traffic and wide of the net. Is back to get it now, getting a chance for Calgary. Is making Yakichuk. She steps in the slot, tries to step around the D, can't quite do so. so Yakichuk has... Bailey Fiala in front. She's got Workman at the point. Workman goes across to Sierra LaPlante, but couldn't quite get to her as LaPlante wasn't ready for that. So they cycle back to try and burn some more time. Gets it over to the Yakachuk, who gains the blue again. Calgary putting out a bit of a clinic on a short, short-handed play there with Sierra LaPlante dumping the puck in the corner. 33 seconds to go in the penalty. Yeah, that's some great uh, offensive zone time for a 5-on-4. They better watch out. They've got two in deep now. Red Deer's finally got control. They're going to try and break out. All cleared again by Calgary. This is a 10 seconds. Fire deep in the Red Deer zone. That's Jennifer Shaw stripping her of the puck as Grace Crooks gets it back to the point. Sierra to plant shot through traffic. Good save by Campbell. Wow, it would have been nice to get a good shot away there. That's Red Deer's number 11. That's uh, Juliana Kiyokobo. And the puck in behind her own net. Calgary with a good, strong four check. Once again, Jennifer Shaw. Nice hand. Nice shot. Just goes over the right this time, glove yeah. hand. 7.29. Both teams at full strength. This will be icing against Red Deer as they try and relieve some pressure. 7.24. Left in the second period. Mike is uh, Calgary really coming out strong at the end of that power play. Yeah, the penalty well, kill. there was a scary uh, few minutes there for, for Red Deer. Calgary had at least three or four chances right in the slot, but either shot it over the net or didn't get a shot away at all. But a lot of great pressure. So a face-off in the Red Deer zone, just to the right of the goaltender, Elizabeth Campbell today for Red Deer. We're all even, so it's five on five again. Line change complete. Face-off happening now. along the boards just in broadcast side here as the puck goes up in the neutral zone McKenna Bolger holds it there McKinney Nelson unable to get the cross ice pass puts it back to Bolger nice hand eye on Bolger putting that puck back down where she can play it Peyton Evans elects to retreat as she's being watched by two Red Deer four checkers they collide on the blue I don't, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah that was vapor uh, lock on the words there Mike go ahead yeah but somehow it, it did not go offside I guess they were outside the blue line when they crashed Red Deer's putting pressure in the Calgary zone. Looks like Calgary's got a breakout. 
Up to McKinley Nelson, no icing because it was touched. Puck in behind the Red Deer net. Oh, uh, Red Deer's breaking out with a three on one. Tia, but Workman, great job getting back. She was there to intercept the pass if it came, but it was shot into Sophie and she did a great job, no rebound. Good six minutes left in the period. Red Deer's putting some pressure on. Sierra Del Plano plays a buck around the boards to Emily Straw. Emily Straw chips it over to, to uh, Sarah Geyser. Intended to come out of the zone, but ended up chipping up into the Red Deer box. Well, we had some good action in this period, Stuart. The uh, pace started kind of slow, then we had some penalties and since those penalties ended, it's been end-to-end -end action. Yeah, the, the penalties of the Calgary Fire found themselves down in five on three for a while there. Red Deer not quite able to capitalize, but it did seem to energize the, the fire to actually put a little bit more pressure on them. There's that workman getting tied up with the Red Deer attacker there behind the net and getting pulled down together. It's a nice uh, clearing pass gets over to Emily Straw. She chips it over to uh, Dylan Norrie. Workman puts it into the corner, and a smart play there again as Sarah Geyser comes in to keep the pressure on, and she's got Wagner for Red Deer trying to put that puck away. Keeping the puck from getting anywhere was Emily Straw. A nice backhand, tried the wraparound, couldn't quite get it there. As Hassenfraz has it now, she'll turn and try to avoid the check of number 15, Haley Hookamp. To the point, and not out as Emily Straw now has it. Lots of traffic as uh, Red Deer seems to be scrambling a bit. Calgary's definitely got the pressure on now. Great job by Tia Workman to keep that puck, and Emily Straw got a good chance at the net, but just couldn't get it on. Big, big stick battle in front there. Fire, st Fire still has a pressure on. Sean Sullivan behind the net, looking for someone open. Back they, to the point, we yeah, have a whistle. The goaltender was uh, pointing at the referee, trying to get her attention, let her know the net was off the moorings. Oh, yes. So, uh... <laughs> Nice little move. Well, they, they wanted that rest. They yeah. wanted to get a chance for their players to change. So smart on the goaltender. That was a smart move by Elizabeth Campbell, a red deer, yeah. to get the referee's attention and make sure they had a chance to change. She's had a great game so far, Stuart. I, I think I'm going to guess that the shots are fairly even now. I, I would guess so as well. A red deer winning that one. Gets a puck out of neutral zone. Almost oh, a high stick pass in France, but that's number four for red deer. Kylie Perry comes in close. Oh, and she makes great. no mistake. Yep. She makes no mistake as red deer now takes the lead of two to one over the Calgary Fire. It was a nice little lob pass to set her away. I didn't see who made that pass there. Did you catch who that was? I did not catch who the assist went to. Let's we'll see if they, uh, they're not really announcing it, are they? I think they are, but I ha it's too hard for us to hear on account of the, the, all the young Inferno <laughs> <laughs> yeah, The Inferno are, are, are on fire, shall we say, in the corner yes, here they with are. the volume levels. Yeah. So 431 in the second period, Red Deer goes up with 2-1 to one over the Calgary Fire. Sierra Plant goes back behind her own net, trying to play the point run the, to Grace Crooks, who's on the point board. Uh, not able to contain that, so Juliana Jacobo of uh, Red Deer gets there first and chips it in deeper. Good job there by Bailey Fiala to put it back into the neutral zone, but Red Deer's Kylie Perry gets it and just rifles it back around the boards. Megan Yakachuk as Red Deer makes a change, trying to get themselves some time and space to get out of their zone. The centering pass goes past... Grace Crooks and Megan Yakachuk, but Crooks, Crooks dumps it deep. Yakachuk's there. She's got Bailey Fiala in the slot. Yakachuk battles for it behind the net with number five for Red Deer. Jordan McLaughlin putting some pressure on her. In to help her is Jennifer Shaw. She chips it back and it for Emma Neff at the point. Yakachuk's got it. Went off the bod, the shot there. Went off Stephanie Keeper. Got a great chance for Megan to get a shot and uh, blocked by one of the Red Deer players. Thank you. 
Shot down ice. That'll be icing against the Red Deer Chiefs at 324 this second period. Chiefs leading 2-1 over the Calgary Fire. Faceoff will be to the right of Elizabeth Campbell for Red Deer. And uh, Mike, what's going on with these uh, Junior Inferno? <laughs> yeah, somehow they've seemed to calm down a bit, Stuart. Whoa, great shot off the faceoff, but just wide. Jen shot, a great shot. Set play off the faceoff. Calgary's got some pressure on. Red Deer tries the big flip to get out, and I think it touched the mesh. So we're going to have a faceoff in the Red Deer zone again. See, oh, it switched around, so I don't know if Jen's going to get that. I'm not sure how they did that. I wasn't paying attention on the last faceoff, but Jen Shaw got a great shot from the middle of the slot. Oh, that should be icing. All the way oh, down, but the goaltender will play it. play it. Yeah, once a, I'm yeah. not sure why they waved that off in the first place. Maybe it was a touch toward the uh -huh. uh, neutral zone, but uh, as soon as goaltender makes a motion to play it, that's a done deal. It's no longer icing. So Sophie must have <laughs> Sophie must have noticed that they waved it off, I guess. And yeah, it. probably. Yeah. Good for her. That's a good job. 2:54 of the uh, second period now. Face off to the left of Sophie Lajeunesse in the Calgary zone. Calgary getting possession, coming out of the neutral zone. Dylan Nori trying to do a backhand chip. It's not fooling number 11, Juliana Jacobo. Jacobo, I should say. As Dylan Nori once again gets it over to Straw. Straw chips it forward to Nori, who's just inside the blue. Gets it over to Sarah Geyser. Geyser makes a nice move, gains access to the slot, but loses the puck. Almost gives it away to Red Deer's number 18, Monica Botel. Good work there by Dylan Nori to chip it in, but Red Deer brings it right back out again. This is Tia Workman. Reverses, and Dylan Nori dumps it in for her as the Red Deer's goaltender, Campbell, stops it there. Sarah Gazer gets there first, though, and chips it out front, and there's going to be, uh, oh, the net's off its moorings that's again. off again, yep. I'm not sure what's holding that net on there. Not a lot. It's a uh, bubble gum and Tic Tacs. I think it's all we <laughs> going on that way. When it freezes, it doesn't hold very well. <laughs> yeah, Calgary's gotten a couple opportunities in the slot to get a shot away, and they're just a little bit slow on uh, releasing. Red Deer's done a great job to push push it off their stick where they can shoot. Battle for the puck along the far boards. Red Deer comes up with it, but it puts it back to the point. Calling it first is Madeline Noonan. Wow, shot another goes off shot. the body of number six, Kyla Hansel. As Red Deer able to get it out to the neutral zone, Sierra LaPlante tries to put it back. She does make a nice move, puts it in the zone, but uh, it goes straight to the Red Deer defender. Nice job there by Hassan Fratz. Hassan Fratz has it, shot on net. This time, Campbell holds on to it. No rebound there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we want to go low uh, across the net pad so we can get a rebound on those shots, but uh, that one was up a bit too high. Our goalie just trapped it. No rebound. Face off to the right of the Red Deer goaltender. Puck in the corner now as Red Deer gets around out to the point, but not out. Is uh, That was in the Sullivan got there first. Well, the ref almost... One of the lines been blocked the puck coming out of the blue line, but he seems to be okay. I've uh, I've had six stitches on my chin from shots like that. That they're not nice. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He he blocked that one down low, so he, <laughs> <laughs> it was in a different area. <laughs> Just as dangerous though. He didn't take it on the chin. You're telling me. So no. 56 seconds left yeah. to go in this period, and the, the players are down, pinched in the corner. Right here trying to ch jam it loose. He's a goal referee obviously telling him to keep moving it. Brought out by MF. Cross-ice pass goes over to, to looks like Noonan yeah. again. Yep, Maddie Noonan. And that's uh, Red Deer's number nine. Julia Wagner plays it around the boards. Calgary able to hold it in but not quite keep it there. As uh, Bailey Fiala taking a spectacular fall along the boards. Sierra LaPlante stepping up, getting it over. But Red Deer's number 14, Katie Charco, gets there first. And she's being watched by Grace Crooks. Oh, oh She I've eventually chips it in, but that will be... Uh, slashing on Grace yeah, Crooks. Grace Crooks got a little bit exuberant with that uh, the stick work. At 19 seconds left to go, that means Calgary, barring a goal here, will start the third period down a player. Yeah, it's funny, Stuart. I, I guess because I've been watching these girls all season, 
I saw that penalty coming. Oh yeah, it was the first poke and oh, then yeah. the wind up and oh god. It was here we one, go. two, yeah. three, and that that's uh, yeah, three strikes and you're yeah. out. <laughs> well, hopefully Calgary can kill this off. Got 19 seconds to the end of the period. They do lose the face off. Red Deer with a shot, and Sophie brings that down with her glove. So we got 10 seconds. These are the face offs you want to win. Yep, for sure. This is uh, something that Calgary should be practicing in their, in their practices, for sure. They, the Red Deer's done really well in their face offs today. Yeah, They've they run have. quite a few like that one. They, it's, it's, they get it back, and they have a yeah. very fast release. That's number four, Kylie Perry, stepping in off the face off and just letting it go. So. Uh, yeah. Sophie's having to be pretty alert for that step in. See if Calgary's defense stays with her this time. Oh, that's okay. Cleared by Bailey Fiala. Good back in there as it. they put it deep, but that will do it. All right, well, that's it for another period. So Red Deer has finished this period with the lead. I think we finished the first period it was tied, was it not? Yeah, it yeah. was. Uh, Actually, it was one nothing for Red Deer at the end of the first. So, so once again, Calgary is going. To lead. Yep. Calgary is heading back to the dressing room one more time with a, a bit of a discussion on how to get themselves back on top. Yeah. And it looks like the Infernal Girls have quieted down a bit. It's kind of like when you take your dog for a really long walk and then they're finally calmed down. <laughs> I'd be careful comparing a bunch of young, <laughs> young ladies in the Junior Inferno team to a, to a young dog. <laughs> but certainly they have the energy of a, of a pup, that's for sure. Uh, we're going to call it, before we say anything any more <laughs> adventuresome, we're going to give ourselves a 15-minute break. We'll see you back here in 15 once they do a resurface of the ice again. All Thanks right. for watching this period, and we'll... Uh, We'll go and study our, uh, our uh, roof, en roof. En energy behaviors. <laughs>
It goes what? Black? Okay. Yeah, I'll tell you.
Hello, hello. Thank you. There you are. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here. All right, folks, welcome back to period three. The, uh, that's the Norma Bush Arena where the Red Deer Chiefs taking on the Calgary Fire. Red Deer leading by a score of two to one over the Calgary Fire. And we'll be starting shorthanded for one minute and 41 seconds. We should grab the uh, Calgary Fire coach on his way back here and see if he can say hello to us as he's leaving. <laughs> yeah, we might have time for a quick interview after the game. All right, bucks dropped. Red Deer winning that face off as well. Red Deer behind the fire net. That's number four, Carrie Kylie Perry. Shot on net. Sophie trying to find it. It's actually in the skates of the players in front, and eventually she does cover it up. Sierra LaPlante did a good job getting in front of Perry to stop her from getting that rebound. They had a friendly little chat with each other. They must know each other. There's lots of smiling going on there. <laughs> well, that's what it yeah. is. They're, they're yeah. inviting each other over for dinner yeah. on tomorrow night, a family day. That's, that's what it was. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so. Even I don't believe that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> so, puck, puck dumped down behind the Red Deer net. Back there to play it is the goaltender, Elizabeth Campbell. She, the puck is played around the boards and gets to their, their forward, Kylie Perry, now. Centers to her captain, Aaron Chambers. And Red Deer dumps it down in behind the fire zone with his uh, Peyton Evans back there supporting, sorry, Emma Neff supporting Sierra LaPlante. Shot from the point, blocked by Neff. Got the right toe on it with Sophie Lajeunesse as a good chance in close for number five, Jordan McLaughlin. MNF is going to get a cross check penalty as she knocks number 17 to the ice. Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one, Stuart. I think the girl is halfway down already. Oh, she's calling it a trip. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 38 seconds left to go on the initial penalty to the fire. They were already playing down one. Now they're going five on three again for Red Deer. So Fire once again having to fight their way out of adversity to try and uh, stay only down by one. We'll see how they do in killing off this penalty. I feel like a deja vu. Is this not how we started the second period? <laughs> it is. That's Red Deer's number 12. Stephanie Keeper puts it out to the point. Chambers can't hold it in. It's back to get his uh, 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 McKinley, McKinley Nelson. Nelson. 
She tries to step the inside. Good job by the Red Deer defense to strip her of the puck because she's not happy the way it was done. As uh, now the Red Deer's assistant captain, number 12, Stephanie Keeper, comes in, takes it deep in the zone. In behind the fire net, being watched by Peyton Evans. is pinched against the boards eventually. But Red Deer's number 15 gets there first. Haley Hoogkamp shot in front. Face, and the net comes off, this time favoring the fire. Yeah, there's as, that uh, Sophie. Network. Sophie made a big dive to the right here to try and get on top of that puck. Yeah, Sophie did a great job catching that rebound. She dove out, got it with her arm, and blocked her out. And then uh, knocked the net off. So we got 122. We're back to five on four now, which is nice. Face off one by Red Deer back to the point. And they move it inside. Number three off the ceiling. That will should be a stoppage of play. It is. As uh, there'll be a face off back in the same spot as it was a minute ago. And you get your cheering section in the corner there, Mike. Yeah, fantastic. I was wondering why my right ear was numb <laughs> during the period break. Now I know. You do have a good hearing plan, don't yeah. you? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> to the point held in and dumped in there is number four and number three for Red Deer. That's Kylie Perry and Jolie Nevziger. We're standing side by side. Not a, not a great plan for penetrating the zone. Oh. As, uh, once again, they seem to have that as a part of their set. The, the, the two players are standing beside each other in the corner. Attempt to clear there. Fiala gets it out. Uh, Noonan's there to, to get to it first as Fiala's there in support in the slot. Shot on net. Held there by Campbell, the Red Deer goaltender, as uh, the fire will now set up for the faceoff in the Red Deer zone. 38 seconds left in the power play for Red Deer. Great job by Maddie Noonan and um, I think it was Bailey Fiala was with her killing that penalty it was. on forwards and they broke out. Had a pretty good scoring chance. Shot on net. Down to a five on four now. 35 seconds left to go on the penalty. 17-29 in this third period as the Red Deer Chiefs lead 2-1 to one over the Calgary Fire. They're in the neutral zone now with number 19, Robin Grant, putting the puck in the zone. Chased there by Sierra LaPlante is number eight. That's uh, Kylie Koch. Jennifer Shaw challenges at the point to, to, there to Juliana Giacobo, who gets, turns and gets away from her. Puck loose. Sophie Lajeunesse able to use her paddle to, to flip it into the corner with Dylan Nori completing the job and dumping it down ice with five seconds to go in the penalty, Mike. That, sh that should do it, I would hope, yep. Sophie, great job during that rebound. It's going to be a dangerous spot for the puck, really. Once again, a big thank you to these uh, parents who are filling in and doing some awesome camera work for us today. Following the puck even into the corner here where we get the icing call against Red Deer. Yeah, I'm just looking at the TV for the first time today, Stuart. It is <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got an icing for Red Deer, so this will give Calgary a chance to get some old offensive zone time for the first time this period. Calgary wins that face off. The first one in quite a while. Red Deer's been winning all of them, so it's, it's good that finally yep. Calgary's uh, center was able to come out on top as they win that, but they're in the corner now. We need to get it up ice as it gets it to Neff. Neff takes a shot from the point, goes wide and left, though, as in to play it in the corner is Calgary's number 12? No, that's Dylan 17, Norrie. 17, Dylan Norrie and Sarah Geyser battling away. We're just going to call you Eagle Eyes Mike from now on, I think. <laughs> oh, we got a goal! Oh, wild shot there. We'll throw the us the fire to within to, to be even at a score of two to two with the Red Deer Chiefs. Yeah, I believe that was straight in. Hey, Stuart, no, no deflection. There. It was straight in. Yeah, yeah, no deflection on that. So that should be Great a straight job. unassisted to uh, Dylan Norrie at 16-12 of this third period to uh, bring the both teams at two. Yeah, that was a nifty little backhand move she did off the board. So that was beautiful. That replay worked pretty cool. Yeah, I like those replays. <laughs> we should do that all the time. We, we should. We really should if I just can remember to do it. Yeah. And uh, uh, my apologies to the Red Deer uh, parents, as I really should, did mean to do it there. I just got to have a bit of brain fart pushing that button. Okay, I'll try and remind you next <laughs> there time, you too. It's the least well, I could do. Well, whoever scores next, we'll try and do the replay. As a, when I was just finishing saying what great camera work we had on our parents here from the fire team yep. volunteering to do this, and it's uh, giving us some great camera angles there. That, that camera work for that goal was fantastic. Yep. 
Chip to the point, holding it in was Bailey Fiala. Red Deer coming up with it, though, as here comes Red Deer's number 12. That's Stephanie Keeper, puts it deep in the zone. Back to play is McKenna Bolger. She's got the Red Deer four check. Almost, almost got to Arden Harishko as she's, she got a big, oops, not going that way, as uh, Red Deer is now in deep in their zone with the fire doing a full change. Red Deer's number three, Jolie Neff Seiger coming out to the neutral zone now is intercepting that was uh, McKinley Nelson. Shot from inside the zone, top of the circle was number four, Kylie Perry. Yeah, uh, we had a line change there by Calgary, but they managed to uh, come back. They, McKinley was still on there, broke up the play, but uh, Red Deer does a great shot in the, in the offensive zone. They get shots on the net almost every time they're in the zone. Calgary does a good job getting out of their zone. That's uh, Siobhan Sullivan now in the corner. Centering pass goes across the front of the net as uh, Elizabeth Campbell was making a bit of an awkward stretch for it. Coming in the fire zone now is Lauren Yonker. Great job there by the Red Deer's Kylie Perry to step around the check of Yonker. Almost getting herself a good free chance at the net. But couldn't do so with the Siobhan Sullivan now coming up through the neutral zone. Jillian McEwen plays it back to her and she'll just dump it in while the fire complete their change. Deep in the zone, Julie McEwen keeping the four-check pressure on it while Red Deer tries to come out. It'll be a stretch pass with an icing call against Red Deer at 14-23 of this third period. Now we're tied 2-2, 14 minutes left. Games look pretty even so far. I think Red Deer's out shooting Calgary this period. Playing a little Billy Jean on the PA there, Mike. You going to yeah. start your moonwalk? I just caught, I just caught that. <laughs> I'm just starting to get my groove on. There you go. Red Deer in their zone, trying to get out now. Puck goes cross ice, goes over to forward. It's chipped in. It's number 14, Katie Charco. Couldn't quite get past uh, Sierra LaPlante. LaPlante's got it now again. As she intends to put it up to Emily Straw. Stopped there by the Red Deer defender, number 15, Haley Hoogkamp. LaPlante's got it. She comes up the left side. Tries to step through past the, the uh, captain, and the, that's Aaron Chambers. One of the veterans is, is not, not falling for that last second move as... Uh, Noonan chips it forward, gets it in the zone as Emily Straw gets tied up okay. with uh, Campbell, sorry, Chambers. Looked like we could have had interference there, Stewart. Uh, Poor yeah. Emily can't buy a penalty. Uh, yeah, I would agree there. <laughs> as now Calgary behind their own net goes to the boards. Hassenfrost tries to go off the boards, but was a little too close to jam it. Shot from the point, stopped there by the captain for the flyer, Sierra LaPlante. She gets it over to Emily Straw, chips it over to Noonan. Outside of her reach, though, is not icing as it already gained the center line. 13-16 of the third period. Puck gets in, and once again, right here doing a good job of chipping it to not have the icing. As number 18, that's uh, Monica Botel, chips it just this side of the center. Kyrie coming out now, gets into the blue line for the Red Deer. It's shot on net, played by the, the, the Peyton Elizabeth Evans Campbell in the corner. Yep. Sarah Geyser. Oh, so great pass across. The, but couldn't complete it. Was uh, that looks like it's Lauren Yonker, isn't it deep? Uh, in deep is uh, oh, left Ken corner, Shaw. Shaw. That's yep. it. Yeah. Nice job. Puts it to the point. MNF shot from the point again. Use that's a defenseman user stick to chip it into the corner. I think that's Peyton Evans' shot. I know they have the same hair, her and Emma, but. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, it's nine, Peyton not 19. Evans, that's yeah. right. They, had, they both have to have a nine yeah, at the end, yeah, too. Nine and a 19. <laughs> yeah. Evans has got it behind her own net now, being watched by the Red Deer's number 18, Monica Botel. Oh, could have had she another puts it up ice, and this is not going to be icing. Must have touched somebody as it went through. Red Deer making a change. I'm uh, surprised they avoided the too many men call on that one as the, the number 19's replacement was just stepping off the ice when she played the puck. We lost her camera. Oh, we lost her camera. And it looks like we have a offside. No, it's face-off inside uh, Calgary zone. Sorry I took my eyes off the play because we lost the camera there. For Megan Yakachuk against number 15 for Red Deer. Red Deer wins the face-off, but Calgary breaks out. It's Grace Crooks tries a cross pass. It's intercepted, but oh, Bielli Fiala chipped it in deep. And they're in the corner, Red Deer corner. That's number five for Red Deer. Out of the point. Away. Shot there by Yonker from the point. Goes off the shin pad of the uh, Red Deer forward. That's number 18 again, Monica Botel, having a good defensive play there. Yep. 
Red Deer has blocked a lot of shots today. Kept in by Julia McEwen, broke up that breakout by Red Deer, but Red Deer tries again, Lauren Yonkers intercepts. Red Deer manages to bring it in, alone, they're making a change. Tia Workman, nice job. A whole sea of red and white out there as the Red, the red Deer Chiefs were making a wholesale change. That's a tough job for those linesmen to actually count to make sure players have uh, cleared the ice with their substitute partner because uh, you know, who's changing for who to determine the too many men call. You can tell how well matched these teams are. We have a lot of neutral zone exchanges. Back and forth, back and forth. McKinley Nelson wins that one. Back to Seattle Plant. Red Deer deep in their own zone, but the fire get it behind their net. Out to the point, can't keep it in though, is MNF as she cycles back with Sierra LaPlante. LaPlante goes cross ice intended for Jennifer Shaw, can't quite connect as Red Deer keeps it and dumps it back out again, but that will be offside as the fire receiving player was still inside the zone. Yeah, it's hard to see that blue line from this angle, Stuart. It, it is very yeah. hard. <laughs> you just basically take it for granted. If he's calling it offside, they had to be the wrong side of the blue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and the neutral zone is so much smaller than that in the David Bauer rink as well. It is. There's a lot yeah. of adjustments for both teams to yeah. come to this rink. It's uh, number 19, MNF now steps in. She's trying to get around number five for Red Deer, Jordan McLaughlin. She ends up going behind the net. McLaughlin comes up with it, though. She's still got speed. Goes up the near side as that's number four, Kylie Perry, taking on with number 14, Siobhan Sullivan. Sierra the plant's got it now. Great back check. There's a reversal. Great back check by Siobhan because uh, Bailey Fiala had poke, or Maddie Noonan had pinched when she was doing defense for uh, one of the Calgary defensemen who had gone up. It was a nice it. saucer pass yeah. there by uh, by LaPlante, trying, intended for Siobhan Sullivan, but stayed in the air a little bit longer than they had hoped, I think. Face off one by Red Deer, back to the point. Bolger got it, Fenn on it twice though. It's number 14 for Red Deer. Katie Charco has it behind the net. She gets it over to her teammate, number 16. That's uh, Hannah Bertrude. As the fire coming out of their zone, Red Deer chipping it back in. McKenna Bolger's got it, though. She gets it over to Emily Straw. Bolger's got it again with Straw in the slot. Shot from an odd angle. Oh. Bounced across the goalie. Puck in behind the net. The Red Deer Chiefs, number 14, Katie Charco, gets it out in the neutral zone. Peyton Evans has it, gains this, tries to gain center, but Red Deer picks it up first as the Red Deer assistant captain plays it deep in the fire zone. Back to get it now is McKenna Bolger being watched by number 14, Katie Charco. Sarah Gazer intercepting number 15, Hoogkamp. Haley Hoogkamp as McKenna Bolger once again has it, looking for an egress, bounced it off the boards to just past Dylan Norrie. This is Red Deer's number Hook Camp again. Hook Camp steps in. Nice shot. Nice blocker save by Sierra LaPlante. Sorry, by Sophie Lachanes. Yeah, I think Calgary got caught on a line change. I think their defense were changing, and it was just a strange uh, setup there. And uh, Red Deer had a great scoring chance and walked right in all alone. Yeah, Lachanes, a nice save there just off the lower yeah. right corner of her blocker to chip that puck wide is uh, number 15 for Red Deer. Haley Hook Camp came in for a nice scoring chance. Yonker at the point, tries to shoot it in, goes off the stick of the defender. That's now Red Deer's number 17, circles, it's Arden Hrishko, picking some, picking some speed up, stopped in the neutral zone by Grace Crooks, couldn't quite contain her though, as it left the work to Tia Workman. Puck goes around behind the net, Yonkman, Yonker, tries to put it to the point, but fans on that. Calgary running into a bit of a uh, bouncy puck, not, uh, bouncing the... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for, Mike? The puck, good puck, a bouncy puck? <laughs> exactly, the bouncing puck. You can't get Whoa. a hold of it. Sophie Lajeunesse stopping that one. Nice, just being top and center. Great shot by Red Deer. Shot in close, oh, tries the wrap. Around. Couldn't go get it in as the Red Deer players falling everywhere. Wow. As a penalty that. coming up here, as it looks like uh, Megan Yakachuk is going to be going for two with eight minutes left to go in this third period. Red Deer dangerous on this, Mike. They've already capitalized on a, on a power play so far this game, so Calgary can't afford to keep taking these. Yeah, I'm not sure I agree with the last two penalties he's called, but uh, or she has called. Uh, Megan Yakachuk is moving towards the puck and uh, went through a Red Deer player who was also after the same puck. I just thought that would be coincidental contact. 
Calgary winning that face off is an important one as McKinley Nelson gets it and dumps it down the ice. Yep. A minute 51 to go now. Ten, they burn the first 10 seconds as they're deep in the zone. McKinley Nelson trying to keep it deep as uh, the Red, De Red Deer Chiefs now bringing it up. It's number nine for Red Deer. Julie Wagner gets it in over the blue. McKinley Nelson now has it. Elects to go deeper into her own zone. Being chased by Red Deer, she's going to try and burn some time as she puts it over to Neff. Neff who simply lob balls it down into the far side. A minute 28 to go in the penalty as Red Deer's leaving one player high. They're, they're trying to catch Calgary on that as he had number four, number 19. That's Kate, Kylie Perry and Robin Grant hanging high. Sierra LaPlante back watching them. Gets the puck first and plays it off the boards, but not all the way down. His number six, Kyla Hansel, got that. MNF deflected the puck to keep it out of harm's way. Back to get it is Haas and Frass. Puts it to the board, the half wall, which couldn't quite get it out. Is back to play it for Red Deer. was number 15. Haley Hoodcamp getting away with a pretty aggressive check was uh, oh, Austin Two Frats. great saves by Sophie. They, they tried a short angle, sh short angle shot and she got it with her arm and then came across and made a great save in the middle. Wow, mm -hmm. Red Deer had two really good chances. Good dump there by Sierra LaPlante to yep. play it down the Red Deer zone. 33 seconds left to go. 6.30 in the third period as both teams even at two. Battle for it in the corner. Hassan Fratz is taking on number 12, Stephanie Keeper. Putting it back in the zone, though, is Peyton Evans as she's taking on the Red Deer defenders. Number 11, that was uh, Jacobo. Red Deer making a partial change as number 15 tries to burn time. That's a hook camp trying to get her partners to catch up with her. Now it's Hansel playing it deep into the zone to uh, Charco. Two Charco seconds back. left in the penalty. Oh, and they scored. That was not a power play goal, but it doesn't really matter. Red Deer still gets it, and it's uh, just as the penalty expires, Calgary's still one player short. Red Deer takes a shot from the top of the left circle and then fools. Let, uh, that was another one of those bounces off the backboard. Stu came right out. Right out onto a Red Deer player, and she just... Oh, let's see if I... Sorry, if I waited too long. So, let's uh, go back to live. My apologies. I, once again, we're busy talking about the goal, and I didn't yeah. do the replay. Um, this is now... Fire losing that face off. Red Deer now beat deep in the fire zone again. Is back to get it was Peyton Evans. Dylan Norrie's got it being chased by two Red Deer attackers. Red Deer comes up with it. Good job by the fire to eventually come up with his Emily Straw gets it, centers it, intended for uh, Sarah Geyser. Five minutes, 33 seconds left to go in the period as a Calgary fire player gets dumped just inside the blue. Shot in close. Oh, oh they score! Sure. Emily Straw with a great second effort. Let's see if we can get a replay. We will replay that one. Rebound results in the Calgary Fire tying this very quickly after the Red Deer Chiefs get their go-ahead marker. Well, not the go-ahead, but the uh, one-out marker. Yeah, that's definitely what you want, Stuart, because you know, Red Deer, right after their goal, were coming hard, and uh, Calgary did a great job on that next shift to take it down there and uh, put, a, put a goal in. We got ourselves a pretty exciting game now with 5.25 left, tied at 3-3. Calgary deep in the Red Deer zone. Red Deer trying to clear out. Nice, nice uh, block there as the Yonker stepped into the path of the Red Deer forward. Grace Crook steps into the zone. She's Whoa. pulled off the puck. I'm not sure. Calgary surprised there's no hook here. Yeah. <laughs> Red Deer gets the lead. Is that uh, Lajeunesse going to have to cover it? She's got the Red Deer attacker number 12 coming yeah. in on her. Stephanie Keeper. Stephanie Keeper. Wise Five play. Minutes. Wise play by Sophia. She had two people, two Red Deer kids coming down on her. Yeah, and she saw she had the affiliate number 20, Tia Workman, coming in to try to get back to her. She got back in time. But it was a smarter play to cover that at 5.02 left in the third period. Red Deer winning this faceoff. Shot through traffic, didn't make it through as uh, Bailey Fiala now has got it behind the defense. Can she center it and get a shot? Nope. Whoa. Went wide and left. She did a nice little toe drag, but just lost control of it. Here we go again. Megan Yakichuk is working her way across the blue. She puts it in the far corner as MNF's got it. Shot on net, goes wide and left. 440 left in the period. As Red Deer trying to clear the zone, Sierra Plank gets it. She dumps it back in. 
and uh, Calgary Fire were offside, but they've cleared. <coughs> to the point, not out. Whoa, oh, they chipped it past Sierra. Back to See if Emma can catch. Oh, we got another girl open in front, and Emma did a great job stopping that pass. MNF gets there. The Red Deer defender goes down awkwardly as she, she went to the board quite heavily. Calgary managing to clear those. Jennifer Shaw goes back up ice, passes it across to McKinley Nelson. Too hard for her to receive though as it goes behind the Red Deer net. This is offside. Calgary trying to clear as Red Deer does a stretch pass intended for number, it gets to number 14, Katie Charco. Battle for it in front of the benches though as Red Deer does a cross ice pass. Gets some time and space to put it back in behind the net. Calgary kind of looking at it to see who should go for it. Eventually, McKenna Bolger gets there first, and she plays it up the boards eventually, where number 11 tries to play that centering as Julia Jacobo once again gets her second chance to put it in deep. Nash Seiger plays it off the boards, bounces it off the, off the uh, ball in an awkward way, though, as Jennifer Shaw eventually gets it into the neutral zone. Battle on the neutral zone boards as the two players almost come to blows in front of the referee. That's Peyton Evans chipping it past the Red Deer players as Calgary making a change. Peyton Evans deep in the zone wow. gets hauled down. Oh. Yes. And that will be a hooking penalty against Red Deer at 13-14. Um, actually, she's calling it a hold. <laughs> yeah, you okay. call it some Whatever. tackle even maybe. Yeah. However you want to swing the Ouija board, you can pick a penalty and just pick your buffet. So it's going to be a holding penalty against Red Deer's number 12. So that's uh, Stephanie Keeper taking two for holding at 3.14 in the third period. So the, the score clock, as you can see, is 3-3-3. Three, 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 three each at third period, 3.14. Back to the point. So Sierra LaPlante's got it. She's going to go D to D over to MNF. And that's going to go shoot through traffic. Oh, great shot. She just put it into the opening. Campbell was fooled by that. Didn't quite know where it was going. It was a bit of a deflection last minute. Yeah, one, battle of the, for it. one of the few shots they've gotten through without Red Deer blocking. They've done a great job of blocking uh, Calgary shots today. Minute 41 left to go on the penalty. 2.55 in the period as Calgary is deep in the Red Deer zone. Faceoff will be to the left of Elizabeth Campbell. Wow, the junior Inferno has absolutely on fire now. <laughs> it, they've, they've, come, it, they've erupted. It has energized them, hasn't it? Yeah. Red Deer is just happy to freeze that puck. We got the uh, entire team there except for one player. Calgary maintaining oh, possession. Shot in through traffic. Emily. Good screen attempt there as uh, I think it's, it's uh, Megan Yakichuk did a great job of skating through the front. I'm yeah. surprised Elizabeth Campbell was able to see that and uh, snag it. I think she got it with her glove, I believe. Hey, great shot by Emily. But... Minute 27 left to go in this uh, penalty. 240 in the period. Both teams side at three. Great game going on here at Norma Bush. Red Deer wins it, rifles it around the boards and down the ice. Back on the four check is number 14, Katie Charco. She's going to try and strip Sierra LaPlante of the puck, pulls her down. Uh, LaPlante plays it up to the point, eventually gets it to Emily Straw, who is trying to stay out of her counterpart, number 15's way. MNF, cross ice pass, gets it over to Sarah Geyser. She can't contain it though. As Red Deer once again tries to chip it out, Sarah, it's Emily Madeline Noonan actually is deep in the zone, taking on Red Deer's Aaron Chambers. Fire come up with the puck, cycling around the top of the circle, shot through traffic, goes off the skate of the Red Deer defender. MNF puts it to Sierra to at the top of the point. Shot goes off the blocker of Elizabeth Campbell in the corner. 43 seconds to go as Red Calgary once again cycling in. This is Calgary's, who's that? That's number 15? That's 15, 15 Straw? Uh, Emily Straw. Looking for somebody to get open. She goes cross ice to Sierra Plant. Sierra Plant can't quite contain it. She's being watched by Red Deer's number 15, Haley Hoodcamp. As she goes back to Noonan. Noonan and Calgary making a change. Noonan goes up intended for number seven, Grace Crooks. Not going to be icing as Crooks gets there first. Now the fire have it. They cycling to the top of the circle. Goes to Yonker. Yonker's going to fire from the top bit of a lob ball. Stopped on the way in. Didn't get through. Yonker has it again. Shot through traffic. Gets in, but and out. Yonker does a good job of delaying it, but one minute 13 to go. Both teams are now at full strength. This is Dylan Norrie, drops it there for Crooks. Crooks steps in, makes the turn away from the traffic. Loses it in the corner though, as Red Deer's number 12, Stephanie Keeper has it, plays it around behind the boards. 
Calgary keeping the puck deep in the zone, going the far side where Tia Workman gets in there, pinches in, and Dylan Nord gets it over to her. She feeds it across, shot from the far side, and the rebound, scramble in front of the oh, score. Stewart. 42 seconds left, Stewart. 42 seconds, the Calgary Fire managed to find a way to bring it up. Let's have a look and see. the Calgary Fire celebration line. Tia Workman looks to have bounced that puck in from the far side after the first shot. 42.2 and Calgary Fire up four to three, Mike. Yep. She's, she's definitely got her nose for that net, Stewart. Like I said, I think she's the lead scorer on her team and third in scoring in her league, which is pretty remarkable for a defenseman as well. I believe uh, Red Deer's called a timeout. Someone's called a timeout here. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can do something here. Usually we have a video clip that we can pull up a highlight, but uh, I'm not sure I can actually pull that up out of the hat here. Oh, hello to the Inferno girls there. Wave girls. Oh, yes, they've come alive again. Hi to the Calgary Junior Inferno. Yeah. Taking part in our broadcast, cheering on their Calgary Fire today. Yeah. Okay, we got a face-off in the neutral zone. Uh, 42 seconds left. Sierra LaPlante moved up to put that puck in, but Red Deer's bringing it out into the neutral zone. Loose puck played by Sophie. And m and plays seconds. it up to Jen Straw to the middle. Shaw gets it. Nelson's got yeah, it. Nelson with McEwen in the open the net, and he hits in there. Red Deer had pulled their goaltender, Mike. That uh, gave chance, Calgary a chance yeah. once they got possession on the neutral zone and stepped across the blue. I believe that was McKinley Nelson who put that yep. in. Yeah. Well, a great game for these uh, young junior Inferno to watch today to yeah. see their, their uh, mentors put on the effort to bring it back on top. Yeah, it's very exciting. It's even more exciting when you got some of the yes yelling behind you. You know, it's <laughs> it's nice for the uh, fire girls too because the these infernal girls are so close to the bench they they can't not hear them. That's for sure. Exactly. That's right. Well, battle for it in the neutral zone. Red Deer getting it and they coming in. This is uh, the foot race for it back into the corner. Eight seconds to go and it's uh, pretty much a, an academic deal at this point. But Calgary playing it deep. Siobhan Sullivan there trying to keep it tied against the boards. And that will do it. As the Calgary Fire defeat the Red, the Red Deer Chiefs 5-3. to three. Yep. Yeah, the Fire are currently in fourth place. Uh, just with the race. The race for third and second is pretty close. So these are well, well, well needed points. Well, once again, a big thank you to all the volunteers today to help us put this show together. So hopefully you folks at home have enjoyed this. Thanks like for having me, Stuart. We still have nine viewers concurrent right now, but I'm sure a lot of people will watch it afterwards as well, Mike. So you're going to be... Uh, can somebody else tell them to, to tell somebody to turn their TV on so we can break 10, Stuart? It would be <laughs> nice to get us up to double digits, eh? <laughs> Well, I, I gotta say, you know, since the, uh, the the ability for us to broadcast out of this arena was in question, uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with nine. <laughs> yeah, a big a big thank you so, to you, Stuart, for setting this up. This was unexpected. Well, it's great that the girls get to uh, have their inferno here as well as and and have you folks at home be able to watch them and celebrate this game. And Red Deer put on a fantastic effort. It was uh, nobody backed down, Mike. There's no. neither team was really giving up the other one all the way to the end. That's it's a. <laughs> Got to be a heartbreaker for Red Deer. They had the lead two different times during the game. Well, I better shut her down before uh, okay. many feet passing us are going to unplug us anyway. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Stuart. Goodbye. Thank you, folks. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll give you the, uh, the trailer here to watch for a minute. And then we'll say uh, that's it for here at the uh, Norma Bush Arena, Calgary, Alberta. The Calgary Fire defeating the Red Deer Chiefs 5-3. And we'll see you at the next game we can broadcast. Thanks a lot, folks. Have a good day.
throw people off. 